What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video. I get a lot of questions about this in the comments. It is basically people starting off asking me what heat press they should go with. So the only heat presses that I've ever tried is my Heat Press Nation Signature Series 15 by 15 and I have an Amazon heat press that I started off with. That heat press is still working so today I'm actually going to show you really there's no difference to it if you're using a cheaper heat press compared to this if you're just starting off. If you're going legitly into this, I would recommend going with more uh, quality, expensive heat press. But if you're just looking to start off, I'd start off with like a $150 to $200 heat press. So I'm gonna press up a shirt. I'm using the same transfers from TKO Transfers. I have my front hit, it's my business shirt. I have my front hit and I have my back hit. So I'm gonna do the front hit on the quality heat press from Heat Press Nation. And then over here, I'm gonna move the camera over to there and I'm gonna do the big back print on the Amazon heat press. So then basically, I could show you guys, really, it's not gonna matter what heat press it is, it's what you do your settings at and everything like that. Every heat press is different. So when you get a heat press, that's your judgment to figure out what your best settings for what transfers you use. But I'm gonna do it on both so you could see that I could get the job done with either heat press. Okay, so we're up to temp on both these heat presses. So I have my Heat Press Nation Press at, uh, I have that one set for 319 for 10 seconds. Um, the TKO transfers, they call for um, 300 to 325 for seven to 10 seconds. They send you all these with, with your things. Hopefully that's focusing in. So I'm gonna do my left chest on this press and then I'm gonna do my big back hit on the other press, on my Amazon press. So this one's almost up to temp. And like I said, if you're using presses, no matter what, get yourself a temp gun so you can still check what you're doing. Okay, we're almost up to temp on this one. Um, and this is heavy pressure and it's peel hot. So I'm gonna lint roll it. Get this out of the way here. Give it a pre-press. Pull back out. Now I'm gonna line these up right down from the collar, center them up. I'm gonna go three or four fingers down. Throw it right, right there. Make sure I'm all lined up here. There we go. No cover sheet on this. See where we're at here. We're at 316 on the temp gun. I always let my heat press go about 10 sec or a second longer. These are hot peel. Nothing left on the transfer sheet. Okay, now I'm gonna switch over to this side now. Okay, so now I'm on my Amazon heat press that I bought for I believe $179 at the time. Now I have this press set to 325 for 10 seconds. I'm gonna check this one. We're right at 323 on that. Like I said, I wanted to do the big print so nobody's saying nothing. Basically, well, you did like the little print on the, you know, the little, the Amazon press. So I'm doing the big print on the Amazon press. This one's a lot harder to deal with. That's why I like to slide out drawer better than this. Give it a pre-press. Gotta center this up here. These are hot peel too. 
heavy pressure on that. I always let the Amazon press go about two seconds longer. Still works, two years, two and a half years now. There you go, hot peel, boom. Nothing left on the transfer from the Amazon heat press. So we got quality heat press, Amazon heat press. I'll hold this up at the end for you guys. Okay guys, so there you go. Like I said, TKO transfers. I did my left chest on the Heat Press Nation Signature Series 15 by 15. And then on the Amazon Press, uh, I'll put in the description uh, what it is. I did my back hit. So that's what I'm saying. You could start off, everybody's always asking me what, you know, what heat press to start off with. These are the generic heat presses on Amazon. So basically I'll leave a link to just basically, you know, your 15 by 15 generic heat presses on Amazon for about 200 bucks. And then this one was about 650, I believe after everything. So that's what I'm saying. You could start off with just an Amazon press. I did this big hit with the Amazon press. No issues. And the heat press nation. I like it because it's got the slide out drawer. You know, it's it has it's more quality, it's better quality, everything. It's got the, the the shock, everything like that. So to me, I wanted to upgrade to this, but for two years I used an Amazon press. So if you're just starting off, my advice to you or opinions or whatever you want to call it is I would go with an Amazon heat press if you're just starting off because you could always leave it on the side burner basically in case you need it or whatever. You could use it for sublimation. That's what I'm turning this into now. Now I use that press for sublimation. I use this as my main press for plastisol, vinyl wall, everything like that. And I turn that into my sublimation uh, heat press. But if I ever need it, if this something goes wrong with this, I have this as a backup for right now. I plan on getting you know, bigger heat presses and everything like that. but. Right now, this is what I'm working with, and this works out for me. Two and a half years, almost three with the Amazon heat press, and I still haven't had any problems with that heat press yet. I saw all the reviews on it. Some people have problems with it. I personally never did. I guess it just, you know, who gets it, where it comes from. But for me, I haven't had a problem with it. I haven't had a problem with either of these heat presses. So that's just a quick video for you on what type of heat press I think you should use. I think it should be up to you and you should do your research before you go order in a heat press. So if you guys would like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna keep coming out with some more of this t-shirt content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace.